Food for Soul and Goa co-working present today's readings and reflection. November 4, 2022 Memorial of St. Charles Borromeo, Bishop A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their stomach, their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with His glorified body, by the power that enables Him also to bring all things into subjection to Himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The response is, Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection on today's readings by Bob. By what model do you seek to pattern your life or who is a role model for you? St. Paul urges the Philippians to imitate him as he imitates Jesus so that they might look forward to enjoying the fullness of life which awaits the followers of Jesus. The psalmist looks forward to enjoying the presence of the Lord. In the Gospel, 
Jesus warns his followers to have as much energy and dedication to spreading the good news as the unfaithful steward does to assure his own welfare after being dismissed from his job. In our first reading today, St. Paul wants the faithful of Philippi, and us, to be resolute in living out their slash our faith. He offers himself as an example, not because he is trying to be boastful, but because he is being honest in his estimation of how much he imitates the Lord Jesus. He warns the community that there are some false teachers who preach a message which is fake news, not the gospel truth. They are only interested in selfish gains and cannot see the picture of God's salvation, which Paul sees and to which he is committed. It is only when individuals look to God and all of God's promises that they will begin to experience the fullness of God's presence now and forever. Today's psalm is that of a pilgrim who is on his way to God's temple. The pilgrim longs to be in God's presence. As Christians, we should have the same longing to be eternally with God as the pilgrim on his way to Jerusalem. In the Gospel, Jesus presents a parable of a dishonest steward who had made extra money by overcharging his master's debtors, and then keeping the overcharged money for himself. When the master finds out about the pilfering which has taken place, he tells the steward to prepare to leave. In order to be liked by some of his master's debtors, the steward reduces the debt which is owed to the master. Jesus challenges his followers to be as ingenious and as dedicated in preparing for their eternal future as the steward was to make sure that he would have a comfortable earthly life. As I reflect on the readings, I ponder my own dedication, excitement, and enthusiasm for my future, eternal, life. Sometimes I am not as committed to my eternal future as I should be. I am complacent with my earthly life. I don't want to spend the time and energy in doing what I should do in order to show my acceptance of God's gift of salvation. I am reminded by the readings that I must be as enthusiastic as the psalmist was as he prepares to go into the house of God in Jerusalem. As pilgrims plan for their journey to the temple, they make all sorts of preparations and are willing to make whatever sacrifices are necessary to journey to the place where they can have a stronger sense of God's presence, if even for just a short visit. Should I not be as prepared and excited to enter God's presence, forever, as I look at the life of Esti? Paul, I realize how dedicated he was to not only preparing himself to enter the eternal presence of God, but also how willing he was to help as many people as possible to understand how great God's gift of salvation is. Paul wishes to go to any extreme to win people over to the good news of God's love. He offers his imitation of Jesus as a model of how all of us should look to the Master as the model of what we must be about as we journey toward being in God's house forever and ever. In a similar way, Jesus in the Gospel prods his followers to be as industrious about preparing for their eternal life as the dishonest steward was for his next few years on earth. That has given me something to examine in my life. I must do whatever I need to do, in order to show that I want to be part of God's heavenly reign. I must be energetic and enthusiastic as I work for the spread of the Gospel. In doing so, I demonstrate my longing to enter God's presence. I must rejoice as I make the best use of the time I have as I journey toward the house of the Abba Father. In that way, the Lord Jesus will welcome me and all those who show their longing to be with God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. The personal question or action for today. Who or what do I hold up as the model I should follow in my life? Do I look more toward movie and sports celebrities than I do the holy ones, past or present saints, of God? 
How enthusiastic am I in preparing myself and others to enter the heavenly house of God? Can people experience my rejoicing as I journey toward the place where God is and where all God's holy people will be for all eternity? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, the be-all and end-all of life. Through your goodness, you continue to call us to come into your presence with rejoicing. Although the journeying is not always easy, you promise rewards that are out of this world. And forever. At times, we become complacent with our life here and now, and we fail to look forward to what you have promised. For failing to fully commit ourselves to what you have in store for us, we seek your pardon and forgiveness. Help us to look to the example of St. Paul who strove to imitate your Son, Jesus, as the model of how to live our earthly life, dedicated to helping others prepare to enter your presence forever. With great joy, we lift up this prayer of praise to you as we follow your Son who is the way to you. It is He who has given us an example by His life, ministry, death, and resurrection, and who is living and reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Presented by Father Frankie Fernandez OFM Capuchin Justice Peace Integrity Creation JPIC Capuchin Goa